Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Who everybody? Good morning and uh, welcome back to another session of uh, the 99 names of Allah and reflection. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, inshallah, if you are joining us for the first time, if you're coming back uh, from before, uh, you know kind of our structure. Inshallah, we'll uh, just quickly give a uh, a connection back to our previous session so that there's some continuity, but also uh, we'll jump right into the recitation of the Asma'il Husna, uh, the 99 names, and then we'll go from there, inshallah. So to date, we've covered nine, uh, the first nine names. Um, and I've, I, I can't, I don't know, you know, how, how, how much more can I say when I think about it, there's, that's about 10% already of uh, the, the divine attributes that have been covered. And yesterday we covered al muhaymin Al-Aziz, Al-Jabbar, and how these names bring a sense of renewed mindfulness and heightened awareness uh, for us, but also uh, a desire to purify ourselves and to turn our weaknesses into strengths and our wounds into places of healing. The example brought up was of a Japanese pottery that uh, when shatters uh, is, put to, is put back together by gold uh, anil. And so it just it becomes something much more beautiful, much more valuable than it was uh, before it was unblemished or unbroken. Um, so today we will cover the next three names, Al-Muttakabbir, Al-Khaliq, Al-Bari. And before we do, we begin with that Asma'il Usna uh, recitation. So I'm going to share my screen as always. And uh, as you are comfortable, go ahead and please follow along. Um, so we'll go ahead and start here. Just Bismillah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Who Allah Huladi La ilaha illahu Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Al-Malik Al-Quddus Al-Salam Al-Mu'min Al-Muhaymin Al-Aziz Al-Jabbar Al-Muttakabbir Al-Khaliq Al-Bari Al-Musawwir Al-Ghaffar Al-Qahar Al-Wahab Al-Razak Al-Fattah Al-Alim القابض الباسط الخافض الرافع المعز المذل السميع البصير الحكم العدل اللطيف الخبير الهليم العظيم الغفور الشكور العلي الكبير الهافذ المقيت الهسيب الجليل الكريم الرقيب المجيب الواصي الحكيم الودود المجيد الباعث الشهيد الحق الوقيل القوي المتين الولي الحميد المهسي مبدي المعيد المحي المميت الحي القيوم الواجد الماجد الواحد الأحد الصمد القادر المقتدر المقدم المؤخر الأول الآخر الظاهر الباطن الوالي المتعالي البر التواب المنتقم الأقوى الرؤوف Take this, this, take this time just to internalize the names. Take this time to really let the names just bless the day, let the names bless the surrounding, and 
as I mentioned in the previous sessions, even if you don't know the names, even if you don't know all of them, or if you don't know any of the tunes or following along, anything like that, um, we have this these names to allow us to enter into the presence uh, of Allah. And so what we'll do uh, now is we'll jump into the uh, reflection of the three names for this week, um, for, sorry, for today. Sorry, I'm thinking on weekly events. Uh, if we think uh, for today, and then uh, we'll close out with a dhikr of these three names. So Bismillah. The first name today is Al-Muttakabbir. Uh, Al-Muttakabbir refers to the majestic, the high, the mighty, the sublime, the proud, just, you know, just beyond any kind of, uh, beyond any kind of, you know, status or, or level, just all in grand majesty. And the greatness of this name really manifests in all things and all forms. And it's meant to protect us really from our own arrogance. And we, by, by helping us think not just how, you know, when we, we, we think about how lofty or elevated we might be when we achieve different ranks in this world or different statuses or different titles or honorifics, we instead recognize who we are before God and how before God we are all like the teeth of a comb and we're all equal. And like Al-Malik, this name helps to remove all vain longings and attachments connected to this world which really distract from our, our hearts from the remembrance of Allah, but also give us a, gives us the strength and sequence to connect that, reconnect with Allah. And it comes from this root meaning, as mentioned, of being great, of growing, of increasing, of power and greatness, glory, prestige, so many positive things that are coming out from the name and the root of this name. But Al-Muttakabbir reminds us that with that, we, uh, that anything we experience, Allah is greater. And beyond the liminality of this life lies an eternal life with the one who is greater than this. And this name works counter to those qualities of arrogance and arrogation. And it reminds us that vanity and arrogance are the gates through which our lower selves and lower desires begin to take away from our true purpose uh, and our true aspiration as divinely created beings. I mentioned yesterday a verse from Surah Fajr uh, in the Quran uh, in which Allah says to humanity, irji, that return. So I mentioned that you can't go back to a place that you haven't been before. And uh, when we, this name allows us to really detach from what is around us and just really focus on who we are beyond these clothes, beyond our titles, beyond wherever we might be in the society or life and what we might look like. Uh, and our, look really peer, peel back those layers and look back to our inner self and say, who are we? Where are we from? and where are we created from and recognize that innate connection and that innate belonging, not just with Allah, but in this divine presence, in this divine majesty. And Al-Muttakabbir really helps us to begin that process of peeling and begin to see that, uh, to take away those layers, those things that we pile on that may start to act as barriers between us and Allah and to allow us to draw that connection and see what was there that was uh, once at like at, 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 at one point just one altogether and this leads us into our next name which is al-khaliq al-khaliq can be translated very simply or very straightforwardly as the creator but creator doesn't do it justice per se in in the sense here and this name reminds us just that Allah created all that surrounds us, all that's in the heavens and the earth, anything that we see or that we don't see that's hidden creation. Al-Khaliq brings into being uh, that which doesn't exist, that which has no form or, which or any life or anything like that. Uh, and it shapes the doer as well as the deed. It has an effect on the doer who is creating as well as the created. And Allah made this creation not from any spite, not out of any arrogance, not out of any hate or any anger, but a, a creation made from holistic love. And this root carries the meaning of creating, making, originating, shaping, forming, 
molding and to think up to, to to really to conjure up something to invest time and effort and to put it in so so much of this sounds like someone inventing something somebody an artist at work uh, someone just going through such a painstaking effort to really put something together like how, how you might see you know sculptors creating a sculpture or uh, anyone kind of creating a, a, you know pottery or anything like that that there's there takes there's so much time and process that goes into it um, and what's interesting is that there's word there are a couple words with the same connotation of al or sorry of the same root as khalik uh, that allow us to kind of appreciate the substance of creator as well as that root and how much more expansive it is than just creator so khalq the word uh, means creation it means everything that is created it means humankind but also khuluq refers to innate qualities character humanity courage good natural abilities but also anger when we go beyond the creator uh, line or the creator definition and we dive deep into Khalik, we see a prime evil substance of which humanity was created. Kindness and humanity are our core, courage and faith imbued, and our nature uh, contains an innate goodness. Yet we, we also do have anger. We also do have that, uh, that aspect of anger that's in us, which also does open the door, if not kept in check, two things like arrogance, two things like vanity, two things like that. So these things have been created in a balance. These things have been created um, in, in, in a perfect shape. And when we amplify one of those things over the other, as we go through the course of life, we see how it affects the rest of the body. But this allows us to be mindful. This calls us to be mindful that we are fully mindful now of our creation and, and as a whole, as well as uh, the shared divinity, the shared that divine star stuff we were talking about earlier uh, in all of us, as well as in ourselves. This name calls for us first and foremost as well to take care of ourselves, especially that deep spiritual and innate being that resides within us, uh, that are our hearts and our souls. And when your eyes or your ears fail to perceive or listen to uh, the things that are around you, your heart is the biggest thing that we can listen to, that we can listen with and we can listen to, um, and how it can tell us of what really is going on with us, if there's something wrong, if there's something that's ailing our body, um, but we're too busy and distracted from everything going on, uh, how often do we take our time to listen to our hearts? And uh, why do we listen to our hearts? It's because it was created our hearts being, you know, our, 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 our nafs, our internal soul, um, that, that true, uh, and, and, you know, that, that, that fitra, that original um, creation, it was created from these primeval qualities, these qualities of innate goodness, but also that which was shaped, that which was formed, that which was molded. And creation, as we mentioned in previous, uh, previous um, conversations here, creation is a mirror reflecting not only Allah, but uh, Allah's beautiful attributes, Allah's works and Allah's majesty and all these different things from mercy to justice to uh, the, the, the beauty, the loving, all these things uh, are lifted up in the creation. And so when we know the creation, when we know ourselves, we come to know God. And when we learn or try to learn about God and try to know more about God, we find ourselves coming to actually know more about what we can be and what we can strive for and what our best potential is. So we think about, as we close out with this name, we think about the effort that it takes to, to go into creating something, to invest time into something that takes time to grow, that takes time to come into shape. Uh, and that might not always be something that is in our control, but we know that Allah is in control here. But we, we, we take the analogy of, of a gardener, of a farmer, of mothers, of parents when uh, a, you know, creating a child or creating um, you know, just planting seeds or anything like this in terms of helping 
to cultivate something, helping to grow something and how they give so much fine attention to just that one thing. If it's, if it's a farmer, you know, that one field of crops or that one crop, or if it's a gardener, that one plant that's there, or if it's a, a parent, that one child, how much laser focus that is put into that child. And Allah reminds us that even more so than that, uh, Allah does for the creation. And that moves us into the last name for our discussion today, Al-Bari, the creator of harmony, the one who shapes, the one who brings into existence. Now, Al-Khaliq, Al-Bari, and another name that we'll cover, Al-Musawwir, they all carry meanings of creation. And it's no accident that they've been put back, uh, back to back to back. Um, there's a connection between the three. Al-Khaliq is, if you think about a metaphor, Al-Khaliq is that original cloth, it's a cloth that uh, is just reflective of creation. And that, that cloth is then later cut into various pieces by Al-Bari. And each piece then receives its individual shape and its fashioning through Al-Musawwir. And there's uh, the, the connection and differences that we might have uh, in terms of our, we, ha we share our connection to each other in this, in this khalik, in this uh, creation, this khalk. Um, but then the differences are also there in terms of we, 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 we know why we're different. We know how we, why we all look different or why when we relate to uh, different things like you know, plants or animals and things like that, we all do still have a common creation or common shared creator that's there. And so we carry uh, first and foremost here in, uh, in, in Al-Bari um, that uh, the first and foremost, the quality and meaning of giving is what's lifted up here. That every creature is given in accordance with its behavior, in accordance with its relationship to that which is around it, and in accordance to that which is uh, in harmony with nature. And it separates uh, individual manifestations from that cloth of unity. And through Al-Bari, non-existence comes into existence. So before you can think of creation of all this in, 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 in the divine presence and then being shaped or being just conceived uh, and then being shaped. So you, you can see at the process uh, where the divine attributes contribute to this time, but also where do we fall uh, in this and how do we come to being in spiritual sense here. And so from Allah, we, uh, we, we, we have received all of our capacities in an eclectic uh, kaleidoscopic environment, so different, so rich, so diverse, um, and not on a plane alone from everything or not just completely isolated uh, because these are all a reflection of Al-Bari, of Al-Khaliq, of the creator that we, we enter into such a diverse space wherever we are in this world uh, and we can't help but ponder and be reminded of the remembrance of Allah, of the, uh, of the creator themselves. And so, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, the root of this, this uh, al-bari actually carries the meanings of to create, to become free, to be cleared, to cure, to heal, and to free someone of responsibility or to free something of responsibility. So the key thing here being free of, we, we think back to the cloth analogy, there's a cloth and al-bari starts to uh, remove pieces from the cloth. Um, so becoming free, removing these attachments and how does that tie to us? And how does that tie to us as humanity? Spiritually, we use this name uh, in freeing ourselves from those lower impulses. You'll see a connection to this and so many other names that have this, uh, this behind, the, uh, behind their, their actual meaning here, but vain attachments and distractions, um, as well as uh, taking us beyond the spiritual plane physically um, when we may be overcome by disease, when we may be overcome by an ailment or something that is really hurting at our hearts or our bodies, um, it allows us to detach or free ourselves from uh, that, that connotation that it, that it is taken over our life. You see these kinds of, uh, you know, these kinds of statements in the sense that people fighting back against cancer, that cancer sucks. And like, you know, they take that ownership because sometimes the connotation is that cancer takes over and now I'm just a cancer patient or I'm just this. Um, and rather, no, they, they, they fight back that, that they're like, no, it's not on cancer's terms, it's on my terms. And so you see that this has a divine spark. This has, uh, this, this has that, that call for freedom. Um, and knowing that we are free from, if it's cancer, 
or if it's anything that at the end of the day, we belong to Allah, regardless of what is afflicting us. And so it allows us to have that freedom from attachment to whatever may be uh, holding us back. And lastly, Al-Bari is the creator of harmony and creator of all forms. And Allah grants the crea uh, each creature with its own uh, with its own form that's distinct. And yet in that distinction comes the same creator uh, from the same original substance. So we let these names, inshallah, as we close out here, uh, we let these names allow us to reflect on creation and what all goes into it. It's not just Plato. It's not just us rolling up a ball and then, you know, putting some dents in, in a face and being like, all right, that, that looks good. Um, it's something that, you know, even for us, how difficult it is to create some things, you know, we just are getting around to 3D printing and things like that. But um, how intentional, devoted creation looks and versus what we might think of when we think of Allah as the creator, we might think of Allah as, you know, just fashioning something out of clay or fashioning something and then be like, all right, and then blow, blowing some air into it and then moving on just something really quick. That's not intentional. That doesn't have connotations of feelings or love. But when we re inject in terms of that image of creator into, uh, into uh, re inject those feelings, those words, that warmness, that love into that aspect of creation, we see that it's something much more akin and intimate, like a mother raising a child, like a uh, gardener just planting a sapling, uh, and like a farmer just taking care of a crop, you see that there's so much heart and soul that goes into that one, one, us, uh, each creation, a tree, whatever it might be, and then uh, the, the, and it's brought up in this love, uh, and that love is reflected in not only its creation, but in the creation around it, and it reminds them and reminds us of Allah. So as we, uh, as we leave out today here uh, and close out with our dhikr, um, I had received a request um, to actually do the 99 names one more time at the end. So inshallah, at the end of the dhikr, we'll do it one more time um, for those who may not have been able to uh, see it beforehand or just, you know, it was, it was a request made and uh, I'm, I'm happy to, to accommodate that. Um, but let, let's think back uh, as we close this out to that element of creation to that element of not just uh, al-khaliq and al-bari, which you know are dealing with creating and fashioning, but al-mutakabbir, that who is the one creating, who is the one that is doing this, um, and what, what attachment do we have? So bismillah, let us go ahead and uh, let's start with the dhikr. As always, um, we will repeat each of the names three times. If you've been to our sessions before, seen the recordings, you know uh, kind of the pattern here. Um, so follow along if you'd like, otherwise just uh, get yourself in a zone where you can really hear these names, where you can really just center yourself uh, and think about what we have just said as these names are being reflected, as these names are being uh, recited, think about uh, the connotations and really immerse yourself in this being. So inshallah, bismillah, let's, let's go ahead and start here. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, Allah, Allah, Allah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, Allah, Allah, Allah. Al Mutakabir, 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 Ya 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 mutakabir. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, Allah, Allah, Allah. Al Khaliq, Al Khaliq, Al Khaliq, Al Khaliq, Al Khaliq. Al Khaliq, 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 Ya 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 Khaliq. Ya la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, Allah, Allah, Allah. 
الباري 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 يا باري 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 لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله 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 لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله 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 زاك الله خير uh, brothers and sisters, again, for joining, as mentioned, I'm going to just share my screen. We're going to do the 99 names, but again, I want to be mindful of your time. I thank you for coming. So if you need to leave, you're welcome to leave, but we're just going to do the 99 names uh, recitation one more time um, here. And so, uh, you know, for, for just as a, a request I had received, so I'm just going to go back and share my screen here. But again, you're welcome to stay with us or you're welcome to do the 99 names reciting one more time as we close out uh, in this uh, in this day and we really remember uh, Allah in these in light of these names that we've shared. So Bismillah, let's go ahead and start here. Allah <laughs> الفتح العليم القابض الباسط الخافض الرافع المعز المذل السميع البصير الحكم العدل اللطيف الخبير الحليم العظيم الغفور الشكور العلي الكبير الحفيظ المقيت الحسيب الجليل الكريم الرقيب المجيب الواسع الحكيم الودود المجيد الباعث الشهيد الحق الوقيل القوي المتين الولي الحميد المحسن مبدي المعيد المحي المميت الحي القيوم الواجد الماجد الواحد الأحد الصمد القادر المقتدر المق قدم المؤخر الأول الآخر الظاهر الباطن الوالي المتعلي البر التواب المنتقم العفو الرؤوف المالك الملك ذو الجلال والإكرام المقصد الجامع المغني المغني المانع الضار نافع النور الحادي البديع الباقي الورث الرشيد الصبور Zakla khair again everyone for coming bismillah and have a have a blessed day and blessed Ramadan and best of luck to you inshallah assalamu alaikum